Okay, let's uh, jump into our topic today, which is uh, afternoon topic, which is uh, ambition. And uh, I, this is just a reminder, if you will, because I, I've done uh, we, I've done talks and I've done um, uh, shows on ambition before, um, and I wanted to wanted to just do something positive and uplifting as we go into the weekend uh, to remind you uh, that ambition is important, uh, and it's it's it's. Um, what does ambition mean? It means wanting to be the best that you can be at X, at whatever it happens to be. It means striving for a better future in whatever it is that is important to you. I don't think you can, I don't think you can be ambitious in everything. One of the things about ambition is you need to focus it on the things that matter most to you, the things that are going to impact your life the most and are going to have also uh, also where you can have control, where you can achieve. But in every realm of your life, in every realm of your life, which is important to you, romance, career, family, I mean, if you, if, you, if you care about art, you should be ambitious. Ambitious in the sense of, I want greater success. I want to be better. I want to do more. I want to achieve more. I want the best. And if you already have the best, I want to hold on to that. I want to make it better and keep making it better. Jeremy just gifted uh, five memberships. So Adam, new intellectual, Silvanos. Silvanos is not a member. That is surprising. Um, Enric and Shali. Shali's not a member. Uh, it's all surprising. All of them are now members. This is good because um, I think they all deserve it. They've all been supporters of the Iran Book Show for quite a while. They've all been, uh, they all are here often, and uh, this is great. I wonder if the gifted membership go to people who are right now listening live. Well, Adam, New Intellectual, Silvanos, Enric, and Shelly on right now. I'm curious, uh, because this will teach us how this all goes. Anyway. Ambition is striving to be better. And in every one of the areas of your life, you should really take time on a regular basis to sit down and think. Because thinking is how it all starts always, right? Can I be better at what I'm doing? How do I become better at what I'm doing? Because in almost every case, you can be better at what you're doing whether it's in your marriage, or whether it's looking for a girlfriend, or whether it's in your job, in your career, in your pursuit of whatever values you have, you want to pursue, you are pursuing, you could do better. So how can I be better at achieving my values? How can I be better in every one of these realms? And really, you know, really go for it. Too many people settle. Too many people settle in their relationships with other people. Love, friendship, even family. Don't settle. I mean, you might come to the conclusion the status quo is the best you can do. That's fine. That's fine. But that should be the exception, not the rule. In most things in life, you could do better. But too many people settle. Oh, this job's comfortable. Yeah, I mean, the right. I mean, you know, it's comfortable. I, I live in the city I want to live in. I can walk to work, and it's it's nice. I don't particularly enjoy it, but it's not painful, and I make a decent living. So why why be ambitious? Why be ambitious? Because life requires it. Living requires forward movement. 
living requires constant improvement and the seeking of constant improvement. Living requires that you love the thing that you do. And here I mean living is living fully. You might be okay with it right now, but it's, it's not satisfying. You're losing something by not having, by not striving towards something even greater. By settling, you're giving up on self-esteem. And by settling, I think you're giving up on happiness. You're giving up on the possibility of happiness. Happiness doesn't come from settling. Contentment comes from settling. Happiness comes from striving, from seeking, from really, really, you know, engaging and 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 uh, and uh, and achieving your values and being ambitious about what values you're going to achieve. Being ambitious about the values you're going to achieve. That is, um, whoops, what am I doing here? What's that? That's what happiness requires. That's what happiness requires. It's what life requires. And you can see it in, in advancements, just that the, the uh, species of human beings, <laughs> you know, uh, periods where humans are ambitious, they're striving, they're trying to make their life better, they're building, they're creating, they're moving, they're pulling, life gets better. Periods where they're settled, they're not happy, and nothing gets better. So again, one of the things I admire about people who uh, start companies, one of, one of the things I admire about Silicon Valley is they're ambitious. They want to change the world. They want to create values nobody else has ever created before. They, they, they're willing to work unbelievably hard, in long hours and incredible mental and emotional effort to build a team and create a product and, and strive towards something. And many of them, most of them fail. And the good ones out of that rise up and they do something else and they bring that energy to it. They don't just want to live. They want to live, which means they want to exert themselves to the fullest. They want to see how good really am I. I want to test my metal. And that requires real energy and real ambition. And it is how we establish self-esteem. I can do that rather than, I'm okay. I'm okay. Much more exciting when you say, I can do that. Right? And even if it turns out you can't, I tried. Wow. That's a big boost. I tried. I failed, I didn't die, I learned, getting up on my feet, I'm going to try again or something different, or I'm going to do something different. I learned, I'm bigger for having failed. So that is, um, that is a big part of what it means to live. And the same thing is true in relationships. I'm going to settle for my high school friends. I don't really like them, but it's comfortable. We've been together for a long time, and I'm just, it's just fine. It's good. That's good enough. Versus, I'm going to go find new friends, people who share my values. For example, I'm going to go to Ocon, and I'm going to make it a goal to establish friendships with people who share my values, not with everybody at Ocon, people I like. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to get to know people. I'm going to strive for new friendships. I mean, most people may be ambitious at work, but then they love life, their friendships, their other things. They let go. They settle. They cruise. Now, what about if you're not ambitious? <laughs> you're just not. 
how do you, can you make yourself one? Yes, I think you can. How? By really understanding what your values are. By really thinking through what is going to make you happy, what you think will drive your happiness. By articulating to yourself, and often the best way to do this is in writing, what your values are, what your hierarchy of values are, what is most important to you. Uh, and put that in writing. And then say, okay, what is preventing me from achieving this? And, and that would be true, again, in every realm. I mean, you're single and you want to find somebody. What is preventing me from finding somebody? What is preventing me from getting the raise? What is preventing me from starting my own company? What is preventing me from taking a trip around the world? What is preventing me from achieving my values? And tr work through what it is. And usually what you'll discover is what's really preventing you is, I don't know, laziness, fear. And laziness and fear are really, really destructive emotions, destructive tendencies that it's just a question of will. There's no gimmick to how to get overcome them. You just have to overcome them. You just have to go, screw this, I'm going to do it. Jump, you know, you got to jump into the cold water. Uh, you know, a lot of it is fear. And, and fear is what often prevents us from attaining self-esteem. When we were little kids, we were told, oh, you can't do that. It's too dangerous. Don't go there. Oh, no, that's for all the kids, not for you. You might fall and scrape your knee. Or you might not be successful. So fear of failure, certainly uh, uh, in Europe, much more than in the United States, but in Europe, fear of failure is huge. But fear generally is big. So you have to... Ask yourself, why do I fear fear? What is the source of the fear? What will happen if I fail? Walk through. Imagine in your mind what actually happens if you fail. And I think if you do that honestly and objectively, you'll discover that, yeah, it won't be pleasant. Yes, it will be hard. But it's not devastating. You won't die. You won't be in a position you can't recover. So walk it through in your mind. Think it through. Think what's the worst case scenario. And then think about the probability of it. Right? You can always think about, oh my God, across the street I'll get run over. But what's the probability you'll get run over? It's Almost zero if you look both ways. And then also, and this is when Freeman makes this point, think through, imagine what you will have learned, what you would have gained by the experience, the experience of trying, but even the experience of failing. What will you learn about yourself? What will you learn about the business or the, your relationship or whatever it happens to be? So again, do imagining in your own mind in terms of worst case, best case, likely case, what are the probabilities and what will I learn? What am I giving up? What are the alternatives? I mean, the alternative might be safety, but is safety a high value for you? Should it be a high value for you? Do you think safety leads to happiness? So I think people are not ambitious because they're afraid. And because they lack the self-esteem, they lack the confidence, and they lack the imagination. So be imaginative. Think it through. Deal with the fear. Deal with the fear by imagining it. 
and think through, I mean, really think through costs and benefits, rewards and punishments. How bad could it be versus how good? And how even the bad can be good long term. Yes, I might fail, but will I learn something that will make me even better next time? And again, this is true. You can imagine this in relationships. If, if, you know, if you never go up to a girl and ask her out, nobody will ever turn you down. All right. Safety, stagnation, comfort. But you'll also never go out on a date. If you go and ask a girl for a date and she says no, Okay, her loss, I'm a kind of cool guy. What have you lost? What really have you lost? What are you actually afraid of? Disapproval? Who cares? A lot of people in this chat disapprove of me. Does it stop me from doing it? It kind of even encourages me. So people don't need out. And... Maybe you ask the same girl again another time. Maybe get to know her a little bit better. Or maybe, maybe, yeah, she's not it. Maybe you have to look elsewhere. That's okay too. But you'll learn. You won't have to wonder for the rest of your life. I wonder, I wonder if she would have ever gone out with me. Huh? I wonder if there was a future for us. And the answer might be no. But knowing no is much better than not knowing. <laughs> much better. Because then you can go on. Robin says, the people who agree with you are much more valuable. Absolutely true. Absolutely. And the people who I convinced to agree with me, that's cool. But yes, absolutely. You guys are much more valuable. Um, and you don't have to agree with me on everything. I mean, that would, that, that would be bizarre, but... On the important stuff. So if you're not ambitious, work on it. If you're not ambitious, you're probably crippled by fear in one way or the other. If you're not ambitious, fear and doubt. Challenge yourself. Question them. Make sure, make sure that you understand what's going on. And once you can rid yourself of the fear, ambition is just, I mean, there's no limit. And there's no, I don't think, I don't think ambitious will escape you. Suddenly you will discover how much is possible in life. And how much, in a sense, you want in life that you've been repressing.